new risks, new agents, new threats to public health and to the world, I feel a very deep obligation towards providing equipment that manages and maintains safety. What makes the Type C so innovative is that, I mean, it eliminates all other types of biosafety cabinets, essentially. It's more flexible, it's more ergonomic, more energy efficient, and provides extended safety in a laboratory above and beyond anything else that exists in the world. When I started realizing that this would impact laboratory building design going forward. I was like, wow, there's gonna be substantial advantages. Now they can eliminate two separate exhaust systems that are built into these laboratories. Instead of having one for bio cabinets and one for all their other laboratory equipment, it can all be funneled into one. Yeah, there's things happening here that really haven't happened with safety cabinets before. If the exhaust system fails with a B, everything that's in the work area now dumps into the operator's lap. Brian Garrett said, why don't we just leave the cabinet blowers running and keep the cabinet driving the air into the exhaust system and an active protection protocol. The axiom, because it's programmed to maintain constant volumes of air, the exhaust fan would simply see more of a load and speed up to compensate to maintain its inflow. That's the main reason it's safer than a B cabinet. The team brought different perspectives to this project. What developed was an iterative process where we discovered we got multiple advantages than over conventional cabinets. This is a perfect example of when you let engineers play. Talking with customers, talking with researchers, the selection of when do you pick between the two types of cabinets that existed before the Axiom. You had A's and B's. A's can handle everything a microbiological lab can throw at them except for hazardous chemistry. Bees are the only ones that can, at the time, could handle hazardous chemistry with the microbiology. We also found that once those cabinets were installed, oftentimes they would have to change function down their life, whether it was three years, four years, a couple of months. When you have an A or you have a B, you are stuck with that cabinet. It can never be converted, it can't be changed, you can't change its function. So this cabinet really was meant to address that fundamental need for having flexibility in the laboratory while maintaining safety.